Happy Thanksgiving! Okay, so I'm starting off this look with my brows. I'm just using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and just filling in the sparse areas. This is the color Taupe. I find that this color matches my brows the most. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids. This is MAC uh, Pro Long Wear Concealer. I just kind of rub that in and set it with a powder. And then I'm going directly into MAC's Give Me Sun. I love this. It's a bronzer, but I love to use it in the crease. It's a gorgeous like orangey color and I've been using it a ton for some of my no makeup looks recently so I thought why not use it for my Thanksgiving look and I tried this look out the other day and I talked to you guys about it because I was using the full spectrum palette from Urban Decay and a lot of you guys said you wanted to see it and actually I was going to film it anyway <laughs> so using the Urban Decay full spectrum palette I went in with this color uh, Calavera and it's a really bright yellow and you wouldn't think that looked good but it almost gives that color in the crease like a baby poop color which is beautiful on the eyes I think it just makes like such a good look so I put that with a smaller brush and then in the lower part of the crease I'm using this color C's which is almost like a coral I'm really making this very like I knew I wanted this look for my Thanksgiving look, so I'm making it very fall-ish. So go ahead and put that. And then all over the lid, I'm using this color Alchemy. It's a beautiful maroon, almost like maroonish pink shade, berry almost. It's beautiful. It's a satin. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, but not too, too much. So I put that all over the lid and kind of blended it in a little bit into the crease. But more directly in the crease, I wanted to use this like frosty orange color called Warning. Now I know that frost in the crease isn't always something, but I liked to put it there where those two colors meet. And I like the way that it came out. So using the color Bump, it's a matte white. I just put that under the brow bone. And then for my waterline, I went in with Color Pack. Color Pops Honey Dude. Now if I could do this look over, I think for Thanksgiving Day actually I'm going to wear a dark brown in my waterline, but I filmed this the night before. So this is last night I filmed it. Okay, so this is First Aid Beauty Triple Eye Remedy. This cancels out any dark circles and really helps like depuff the eyes. And now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply liquid liner. And this is the Tom Ford liquid liner. I love this liquid liner, but I do, it's not my most long lasting liquid liner, but I definitely love it. Okay, this mascara I have lived for recently. It is the Lash Sensational and Sumptuous. It gives you the longest lashes. I don't know if it's like a tubal mascara or what, but it comes off my eyes almost in chunks, but it stays on forever on me. So for my foundation combination, I'm using the MAC Strobe Cream in Peach Light. I'm putting that down first and then I put a little bit of Milani Conceal and Perfect in 03 Light Beige. Not a little bit, like a lot, but it's full coverage. For my concealer, I'm using MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. It's a little bit light, so I kind of tried to go in sparingly because I did self tan because my husband told me that my body was like almost like spotlight, like two highlighters. I'm like, okay. when he said my legs looked like two highlighters when I tried on a dress. I was like, or glow sticks, that's what he said. I'm like, uh, okay, so maybe I should self tan. So that story was going to end with that my foundation's a little bit light compared to my neck. Okay, so I went in with Give Me Sun when I was telling that long, boring story. Um, for my bronzer and then I set my under eyes and now I'm going in with the alchemy color under my eyes and then I go in with Max Give Me Sun just to kind of blend it out. I don't know if like this pinkish color under my eyes makes me look sick with the waterline. That's why I think I want to change the waterline up for when I do it tomorrow. So you just 
go ahead and decide what you want to do. If pink looks sick on you, then you can change it. Okay, here's where I go ham with my blush. I'm using the Nutcracker Sweet Copper Face Palette, the highlighter, and the blush. And I just like went a little bit overboard and didn't blend it out as much as I should have. But, you know, YOLO on my blush. So I'm using the highlight, this Whisper of Guilt in my inner corners. This is Smashbox Always On. Lip color in Out Loud. This is such a great formula. I love this color. It's like the perfect fall color. So I'm just putting this all over my lips. I didn't use a lip liner because honestly I couldn't find one that matched for my eyelashes. I'm using Violet Boss. I do not care. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already and check out my last video and I'll see you all in the next video.